Good evening. I am the maven of the even tide and welcome to Vampire Reviews. It is finally fall. Almost October. You know what that means, right? Time to decorate for Halloween. Um, there. Perfect. Just a little touch, you know, uh, nothing too ostentatious. <laughs> we wouldn't want to be tacky. is tired of being stuck at home during plague year. Well, as much as I do enjoy the confines of my crypt, there are other spooky places even I long to be. Graveyards, mausoleums, haunted forests, catacombs, New Orleans, you know, all the vampire places. And now that autumn is upon us, it's the perfect time of year for going out and enjoying the changing foliage speckled with spider webs, the gloomy weather, traveling south now that the merciless oppression of summer is past. But alas, I want to go back to New Orleans. I, I haven't been there since 2014, and I regret that when I did go, I did not visit a certain shop known as the Boutique du Vampire. I know, right? Epic golf fail on my part. Boutique du Vampire is a little vampire shop in the heart of New Orleans' French Quarter that's been open to vampires and mortals alike on St. Anne Street since 2003. Almost everything they sell is made exclusively for them by artists in New Orleans and around the country. They sell art, books, toys, dolls, bath and body products, makeup, custom fangs, jewelry, candles, stationery, clothes, snacks, everything your little black heart could possibly desire to help supplement your spooky vampire existence. It's a goth stream store. They also host an amazing vampire book club, which you should totally go look up. They like have a Facebook page. You don't have to buy the books from the shop if you join, but if you do, they issue them with autographed book plates from the authors, as well as some really cool swag. And you know how we do love vampire books here on Vampire Reviews. Also, if you shop there, they'll give you a password to a nearby vampire-themed speakeasy secreted away above a jazz club on Bourbon Street. You can go enjoy the customer-only lounge and even become an exclusive member. But what is a lonely creature of the night to do when I am here languishing and the Boutique du Vampire is all the way down there in the magical, mystical land of New Orleans and travel these days might put me and my loved ones at risk of the true death? Well, the Boutique du Vampire does have a fantastic website where you can order pretty much everything they sell. But do you know what else they have? Mail order vampire mystery boxes! So, obviously, I had to get my clammy little hands on one, and it just arrived. It came in a Priority Mail USPS shipping box, but that doesn't exactly match our aesthetic here. So I poured everything out of it into this, but I haven't actually looked at any of it yet. I saved it to share with you, and now you all get to open it with me. For these vampire mystery boxes they offer, you can order just an individual box or sign up for a monthly vampire box subscription. There's even an option that comes with bottles of our good old friend vampire wine from Vampire Vineyards. If you get a subscription, the items in the box won't repeat. And the shop also even keeps track of individual box orders. So if you decide to order another one or if you want to sign up for the subscription after you get your first individual box, the items won't repeat then either. All right, you excited? Let's see what's in here. It all came wrapped in nice gothically red crepe paper. First of all, I have a wooden stake made exclusively for Boutique du Vampire. These wooden stakes are made to code. Essential for any New Orleans resident and those traveling through the city with late night intentions. For centuries, wooden stakes have been trusted sources for protection against the undead. Disclaimer. Use only on rogue vampires for your protection. Boutique du Vampire holds no responsibility for your lack of strength to use effectively. Sold without mallet. This is adorable. It's very obviously hand chiseled. Someone put some love and care into this wooden stake. 
vampire rubber ducky. Oh, she has fangs and a cloak and a widow's peak. Yes. <gasps> this is what I need. A mask. Oh, inside it says made exclusively for Boutique du Vampire with their logo. Oh, but watch, watch, watch. <laughs> you, you think she's sexy? You think she's sassy? But then, blah. What else is in here? Earrings. Oh my gosh. They're little... Bloody meat cleaver earrings. Creepy kitten designs, handmade in NOLA. That's what, that's what the cool kids call New Orleans. Bloody meat cleaver earrings, those are so cute. <gasps> Interview with the Vampire 1994, that's my favorite movie of all the movies. It's a film strip, it's like a little piece of film. This unique strip of 35 millimeter motion picture film came from an actual movie reel. It was seen in an old movie theater on the big screen. Own a piece of film history. So they cut up the actual film reel from an Interview with the Vampire that was used in some movie theater. Gave it to me. Hold up to the light. Which scene did I get? Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. It's Armand. It's this scene. No pay. Armand, my favorite vampire ever. This is really cool. It's a little crocheted bat. Oh, she's all tied together. Let's see. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. It smells good. It smells like incense. It's a very familiar scent, but I can't place it right now. It's not garlic good though. So cute. This is in, uh, they're little Ziploc baggies that they use to put um, food in so it doesn't you know, leak or whatever. The Ziploc baggies have bats on them. I want these Ziploc baggies. And this is a blood pack type B for drinking. BRH positive. Shake well. Energy Potion, natural punch flavored beverage. Satisfies your thirst for blood. Fantastic fruit punch flavor. 80 milligrams of caffeine per pouch. Nice. Delicious for vampires or humans. Succulent source of iron. Garlic free. Limit one pouch per 24 hour period. Not for use intravenously or in transfusions. I guess they have to put that in there. Instructions for warming to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit on back. People's blood isn't for drinking, but this is. Did you know it is against the law to uh, drink human blood in New Orleans? They had to pass that law because so many people were doing it. Oh yeah, you can microwave it. Microwave on high for 14 seconds and it will be exactly 98.6 degrees. 25 calories per serving. It really has that like blood kind of viscosity too. That's pretty cool. I think mean, it's a little thinner than real blood, but it's definitely thicker than fruit punch. It's got some something in it. it takes me back to some Vampire the Masquerade bloodlines. This looks like a poster. What could it be? Oh, it's like an art print kind of thing. Very cool. The artist is Madame Talbot. I wonder if Talbot is supposed to be an Anne Rice reference or if it's just coincidence. If it's based on the same thing Anne Rice based it on. Vampire. Gee, this won't match my decor at all. I'm gonna have to frame this. Something very ornate and gothic, I think. What is this? It's in a cute little blood splatter bag. It's got a stick. It's like a goodie bag that you get at, you know, a birthday party or something, which my kind of birthday party. Oh, it's incense. That's the stick. Hmm. Smells like um, like a clean, soapy kind of nice clean smell. It says, surprise, we hope you enjoy your mystery box. Please keep it a mystery for future customers. We are so grateful for your support. If you love our shop, please take a moment and write a review of us on TripAdvisor. 
help us stay number one. Well, I'm just gonna have to put spoiler alerts in the description of this video. Relax. Our handmade incense is created especially for us to evoke a relaxing, tranquil environment. Enjoy. Incense. This is in here. Oh, a candle with a little scroll attached to it and some adorable little glow-in-the-dark vampire fangs. What is in this little scroll? I can't tell if this candle has a smell or, or if it's just the smell from the incense that was in the same bag, but it smells pretty good. Very clean and fresh smelling. Tranquil. Let's see what this scroll says. Oh, it's a charm. Votive charm candle. Vampires crave light. It is, after all, the one thing they are forced to live without. They allow a comfortable glimpse of something that is unattainable. Fascinated by its tranquil flicker, vampires have experimented with candle making for centuries. Oh, a vampire made this candle. This handmade protective votive candle contains a charm that, once retrieved, will protect you. Keep it with you and stay safe. Feelthebite.com Oh, there's something else in here. It's a pin! It's an enamel pin. It's a heart in the shape of a vampire mouth with little vampire fangs. I'm sorry that's so small for you to see. But you know what? Get a mystery box of your own and then you will see it. Three more things left. What is this? It's a shot glass. Boutique du Vampire shot glass. It is, it's red tint. Can you see that? Like it's clear, but the tint is red. So it looks like it's red when you lift it and drink from it. So like here it's clear, but now it's red. That was really cool. Shot glass. tea. I love tea. From the Vampire Tea Company. So we have vampire wine and vampire tea. Organically grown, fair trade certified. Tea is a life. The vampire with a Y. Tea Company. VampireTeaCompany.com. An original gourmet tea. All natural blood tea. No preservatives, additives, or food coloring. What all night creatures crave. The elixir of life. Don't let the name fool you. This distinct, fanciful blend of tea, spices, and fruit produces a delicious, elegant flavor that is beyond compare and derives its moniker from how much it oozes a lush blood-red color when steeped. So that shouldn't scare you. Its rich aromatic fragrance and delicate balance of ingredients is high in antioxidants, low in caffeine, and extremely good for you. Each of our tea blends are meticulously crafted through our three-step process to arrive at the best scent, taste, and look. Blood tea is a cup of life mixed with love in your hands, brewed to perfection. It's got black tea, orange pieces, blackberry leaves, safflower petals, lemon balm leaves, strawberry pieces, calendula petals, sunflower petals, elderberry pieces, raisin bits, hibiscus petals, apple pieces, rosehip bits, passion fruit pieces, kiwi pieces, raspberry pieces, rose petals, cornflower petals, and peppermint. It's a lot of fruit pieces. This is going to be a really fruity tea, and I bet all those Red fruits do make it turn a red color with no artificial colors. All natural blood tea. What does it smell like? I have to smell the tea. Hopefully I won't spill the tea. Ooh, that is fruity. Oh, that smells really good. And it's so colorful too. Can you see all those colorful flower petals and fruit pieces in there? Mmm, I know it's for breakfast tomorrow. Blood! What a fun vampire box! And the last thing I got was this book. This is New Orleans Vampires History and Legend by Marita Woyward Crandall, published by History Press. And Marita is the owner of Boutique du Vampire. And this is the only historically accurate book on where the vampire legends in the French Quarter came from. The foreword is written by Dacre Stoker who uh, was just with us here on Vampire Reviews, talking about his work as an author, as well as some other very cool Dracula merchandise, which if you missed it, you can go watch right here. 
Marita, the author of this book, says that there are three vampire legends in the quarter, and this book does not ruin them, but she did a tremendous amount of research to find out where and when they originated. Blood in the Big Easy. New Orleans has a reputation as a home for creatures of the night. Popular books, movies, and television shows have cemented the city's connection to vampires in public imagination. In the early days of Louisiana's colonization, rumors swirled about the fate of the Casket Girls, a group of mysterious maidens traveling to the New World from France with peculiar casket-shaped boxes. A charismatic man who moved to the French Quarter in the early 1900s eerily resembled a European aristocrat of 100 years prior bearing the same name. Marita Wayward Crandall investigates the origins of these legends so intricately woven through New Orleans' rich history. Also, if you go to her website, uh, she has some research stuff on there in her research section that says a lot more about the history of New Orleans. It's all really cool information if you're looking for vampire legends and lore. So I am very pleased with my vampire mystery box. If you are someone who's looking to help out small businesses during the pandemic and you want to support local artisans and craftsmen and you happen to love vampires, go to their website, order yourself a box. 10 out of 10 bats, I do recommend vampire mystery boxes. And join their book club as well because I certainly have. I'm Zmiven of the Eventide and how are you celebrating the approach of the Halloween season? Retail therapy, like me? Or doing something else? Let me know in the comments. Share your ideas. I need them. I'm so lonely. Thank you for joining me for this review of some vampire merchandise. We haven't done this in a while. Lately, I've just been reviewing books and movies, but I do love reviewing vampire stuff as well. If there's vampire stuff you would like to see me review, leave me comments. I've done vampire wine. I've done vampire perfume, vampire beer. You know, if it's drinkable, I really like it. Like, you know, this is drinkable. Maybe I'll do a review of the vampire tea if I can find a couple more brands of vampire teas to do a tasting with. Do you have any vampire merchandise that you love that I should know about? Because I don't know if you know this about me, but I collect things. Thank you to my Patreon patrons for supporting this channel. As always, you help enable all of our vampire nonsense. I love you. Good night.